England's King Richard III entertained a score or two of tailors to adorn his body, according to Shakespeare. Now it's the turn of Queen Elizabeth II. Fashioning a reign, 90 years of style from the Queen's wardrobe will display more than 150 of Her Majesty's most memorable looks, including ceremonial and military attire, as well as wedding and christening outfits. It will also feature jewellery and accessories worn by the Queen throughout her long life. It's not only the biggest ever exhibition of the royal wardrobe, but also a showcase of British design talent. Her Majesty the Queen's support of British design is a very important theme that we see throughout the exhibition, and it includes examples made by all the different designers who have worked for the Queen from the 1940s right up to the present day. The exhibition illustrates the work of the various different couturiers who have been patronised by the Queen throughout her reign, and these include some of the most famous names in British fashion, particularly from the early part of her reign, names such as Norman Hartnell, the famous British couturier, whose signature styles formed such a fundamental part of the Queen's wardrobe. And we see this in the wonderful crinoline state evening gowns on display here, which are also referenced in the works on paper, the fashion sketches that we're also showing. And so it gives visitors is the opportunity to really understand the design process and the relationship between the Queen and her designers. The collection will be showcased at the Queen's three official residences, opening at the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh on April the 21st. This will focus on the use of tartan in the Queen's dress. The two other exhibitions, opening at Buckingham Palace in August and Windsor Castle in September, will provide a more generalised look at royal couture worn at state and private functions. Abdiel Leroy, CCTV.